to your professor. <clears throat> Autism is a developmental neurological disorder that has increased exponentially over the years. It affects language, socialization, and behavior. Research recently published from the Center of Disease Control and Prevention showed that 1 in 88 children are now diagnosed with autism. This graph shows the exponential growth. In the 70s, 1 in 10,000 children were diagnosed with autism. Close to the year 2000, 1 in 500, and now 2012, 1 in 88. So it's an obvious issue, um, and the numbers are just doing nothing but increasing. In fact, the CDC also published information that more children are diagnosed with autism every year than adults, children, babies that are diagnosed with diabetes, HIV, and all cancers combined. My son was diagnosed last fall with autism. He's the one in 88. And we started an intensive behavioral program for him. He was nonverbal. He had no words at the time. And over a year's period of really hard work, he got, he gained 12 words. We were really, really excited. It represented hundreds and hundreds of hours of hard work, but it was still only 12 words. My husband and I decided to implement a therapy um, often used now for autism to increase language called the gluten-free casein-free diet. Three weeks after starting the diet, my son went from 12 words to 200 words. Three weeks after that, we were at 400 words, and he started really doing very, very well. I wish to discuss the gluten-free, casein-free diet with you guys and how it has a possibility to help some children with autism. The gluten-free, casein-free diet is just that, a diet free of gluten and casein. So in order, in order to know exactly what that is, we need to know what gluten and casein truly is. Gluten is simple. It's a protein that's found in wheat and it's related grains like rye, barley, and spout. Casein is simply a protein that's found in milk from, created from all mammals. Um, these two items basically are in everything that you would find in a grocery store. If you walk down an aisle, you're almost guaranteed that those two things, or at least one of those things, are in a prepackaged good your bread, your cereals, um, obviously your gallon of milk, yogurt, cheeses, cookies, crackers, it's in everything. Because the amount of children now diagnosed with autism, it's vitally important that we know what best will help our children, what's going to work, what's not going to work. Research recently published from UC Davis demonstrated that autistic children are seven times more likely to have digestive disorders than typical peers. These disorders include anything from colitis, like severe inflammation, um, diarrhea, constipation, heavy, heavy bacteria in their guts, high yeast contents in their guts, among other things. And because of this digestive problem, their bodies are not able to break down um, the gluten and the casein. So essentially, it stays in their body, and their bodies become toxic. Um, the brain takes the toxic levels, the, those proteins, and it reads it like an opiate-like drug, essentially. And so um, it alters behavior, perception, and responses to their environment. Essentially, it exacerbates all the autistic symptoms that are already there. By going on the gluten-free, casein-free diet, in time, the body will remove it and work through it once the offender is missing. So the body essentially will detoxify. The brain and gut clear of its adverse neurological effects and language increases in a lot of kids. Social Socialization increases and negative behavior sometimes has been shown to decrease as well. There's two opinions um, that are really interesting about the gluten-free, casein-free diet in the science world. The first opinion is that researchers feel like there's not, there's not enough research to say this is what needs to happen for every child with autism. One of those reasons is because it's really hard to collect concrete data to control exactly what's, what's going in and out of a child's system, what kind of food they're getting, is it really being implemented. They feel like there needs to be um, more concrete data before they stand up and say this is really something that's going to help. 
the other side feels that um, research is still coming. That why wait for the research when we know there's been enough one-on-one -on -one evidence with families and individuals to see progress. Why wait and waste time for the research? Um, Autism Insights, there's some researchers from Autism Insights took a stand and, and really set a proclamation that families need to start this regardless of what others may be saying just to give their child a chance. It may not work for every child, but because time is of such the essence with language with children that they deserve a chance to try it. So we have discussed the gluten-free, casein-free diet and how it relates to some children with autism. I hope with the growing number of children effect, affected with this disorder that you will share this information with anyone that could benefit, friends or family or young or old. And the more individuals that know of the possibilities of this diet, the more children can receive its benefits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 550.